bang. An Audi A4. No Mustang, but yeah. So, while we're waiting for an Uber, try and quickly catch you up, because obviously it's easy to see from the sun. So later on in the day, busy morning trying to organize. I mean, the weather's been okay here, like sun-wise and stuff. Basically, the water itself, or the ocean itself, has not been great. So all week, they've canceled the Great White Shark Diving, and we booked it on Wednesday, which you probably saw like a video or two ago. And we booked it for Saturday, which is tomorrow, so it's now Friday. And they said 100% it was going ahead Saturday with the weather, and to Friday it was meant to be 50-50, so we booked Saturday, because apparently it was 100%. We booked Saturday, because we're going home Sunday, flying back to Australia Sunday. Got a message this morning saying it's been cancelled tomorrow due to high winds and high swell, which is, you know, safety first, all about safety first. But we've been trying to organise or figure out if at all possible still to do shark diving. So obviously everyone says to do that in Cape Town. And basically we can't figure out a way to do it and not miss our flight home Sunday night. Because we're in Cape Town, we have to get a flight from Cape Town to Johannesburg and then from Johannesburg to Sydney. And the flight leaves at 7.10pm on a Sunday night back into Sydney. Gee, I hope you can hear me because it's pretty, it's a bit windy. Probably why they cancelled it. Yes. And we just can't figure out logistically how to do it because shark diving is a two hour drive from Cape Town to like Gansby, like Shark Alley. But it's not really possible. Well, it's not possible because we've tried basically all of this. Which is why we didn't wait start to the day because obviously we're trying to organise to still do shark diving. But yeah, it's logistically not possible. So we're both pretty disappointed about that, obviously. As everyone says, come to Cape Town to do shark diving. But they've, they've cancelled it all week. Like, we got here probably a week ago, and they've cancelled it every day. So, the wind and swell's just been too hectic to do it. So yes, couldn't figure it out. So anyway, the plan for today with uh, the sun, at least the clouds gone from the mountains today. So we're gonna climb Lion's Head. So that's currently where we're off to. So our Uber is en route. Climb this mountain. That is Lion's Head. And that's Table Mountain. Thanks, Abba. Thank, Thank you very much. So we currently go back to the waterfront because obviously shark diving is cancelled. We have to get our deposit back. So hopefully we can find our mate, shark mate. So we just got an Uber to the Lion's Head car park, just back down there, and it's pretty windy. I think the wind's just stopped with some uh, cover here. Matt where we're currently headed. Friends from South Africa have told me it's about an hour up, maybe an hour down. So, we've got to do it, because that cloud is rolling in, so we don't want to lose the view. <laughs> Get to the top and there's no view up there. So, yes, the current situation is we started the hike. We're gonna see how far we get. So I would be lying if I said it wasn't windy, but as you can already see, it's gonna be an epic view. Not even at the top. It's just that cloud. The cloud behind me from Table Mountain. Looks like it's rolling in. But, it still looks clear. That's where we're headed. We're all gonna make it. We're about halfway now. Just behind us. But that view out there, epic. I reckon we're probably about halfway. Plus or minus, as the South Africans would say. It's right behind us. It's getting there. And, If you can hear me with the wind, I realize, I realize the irony in this has, I posted an Instagram on the top of Table Mountain, which said, I don't do cardio, and now I'm doing cardio. But, I did say on that very Instagram, I said, but I will climb Lion's Head. So, plus, it's pretty hard to put sarcasm over Instagram. Oh yeah, pretty windy. But yes, there was definite sarcasm in that Instagram. I'm gonna do cardio every day, but I do cardio here and there. Like today. <laughs> Epic. We're getting closer, as you can see. It's obviously getting windier. Made it to the other side. So, we're almost there. It's just the top. And from here to the other side, you can see 
epic view. Wind's died down a little bit for now. Sick view. It's Mallington, I think. Where we're staying, so we're staying at Lagoon Beach, which is like over there. And this is Camps Bay, which is where we were. There's the wind. Camps Bay. We were there a few days ago. We had like a late lunch there. That's it. I've got nothing else to say. It's windy. That's all I've got to say. Alright, we're obviously getting close because we've got a ladder. That is me. Windy, you can probably hear me. Did a video on my phone at the top, which obviously is in the audio, the audio in that. I'm sure it's obviously a fair bit of wind, so we got real close, but we called it just too much wind, like ridiculous amounts of wind. See you right now. Come back down a little bit less wind, so I thought I'd get the camera out to give you an update to show you what I've come down. Obviously, got an epic view. Obviously, Table Mountain is closed today because you know, if you get up there, you'd see nothing. So, we'll continue back down. Well, back at the bottom, go close, but unfortunately, as you saw, the weather got the better of us. So we just missed out on the top. Obviously the wind as you can still see even at the bottom. It's just hectic. So we tried. We got close. We got very close. But unfortunately didn't quite make the top. And this is our last opportunity to do it. And the previous days as you've probably seen, the cloud was like all around Lion's Head. So even if we got to the top, we wouldn't be able to see anything. So we're uh, still very windy. Headed back to the waterfront at dinner. We have roast chicken, bacon, tomato, and avocado. Just at dinner. Still windy. Currently waiting for our Uber. One minute away. Head back to the hotel. Thank you. So, it is actually great news. We managed to get on a shark dive tomorrow, somehow. So the one we were on, and majority of everyone that does it, they use small boats. But we found a company that tomorrow actually has space and uses a bigger boat apparently that in the weather is happy to still go. So from this morning, when we thought we weren't gonna be able to do it at all, we turned around and now we actually are going tomorrow. As planned, except with a different company, on a big boat. It's still happening. Still pumped. It's gonna be awesome. We're obviously both pretty worried. It's like obviously a massive thing in Cape Town is doing great white shark diving. So we were a bit both pretty annoyed about that. But we couldn't control the weather, so there's nothing we could do. But we asked around and we found a company that's still going. So we're stoked. So tomorrow's gonna to be an exciting day. It's gonna be a big day. It's early morning. Well, it's not early compared to our safaris. I think it was like at 8, 8.20. About a two hour drive. Do a safety brief and we head out Shark Alley. So it's gonna be sick. Yeah, so we just gotta to pack tonight. We're checking out of this hotel in the morning, so we're currently deciding whether we're gonna stay in Cape Town tomorrow night or finish this shark dive, go straight to the airport and fly to Johannesburg. Stay in Johannesburg tomorrow night. I think logistically it's probably gonna work better to stay in Cape Town just with timing of everything, just in case. So I think we get back to Cape Town City from the shark dive about 6 or 7 p.m. And the last flight out of Cape Town to Johannesburg is 7.55. So if we miss that, basically have nothing. We have no accommodation in Cape Town, uh, no flight to Johannesburg. So yes, I think the current plan is to stay in Cape Town tomorrow night and then fly out to Johannesburg at midday Sunday for our flight home Sunday night back to Sydney. 
and then Sydney Melbourne. That'll be a big day of flying actually. Two hours flight to Johannesburg, 12 hours to Sydney, hour and a half to Melbourne from Sydney. It's gonna be a big day of flying. That'll be fun. So as you can see, Cape Town City in the back. Pretty good view. The wind has actually died down a fair bit. So it's probably a good thing considering we're going shark diving in the morning. Good news. Got to sort it. It's happening. We're going shark diving. We'll see you in the next one. And we will be on our way to shark cage dive with great white sharks.